Hello guys, first of all, let me introduce myself. My name is Lindenberg Benaz. I work from Brazil, Rio de Janeiro, as a home studio solution architect at Salesforce. Okay. Um, I have an idea about to create a project to help people to practice uh, some home studios. You no. Know, in a specific skills. Um, the idea is offer some tasks that um, we can face in the real projects, but uh, specific tasks that um, we can uh, improve our um, our skills, you know, and um, it be something very difficult to implement. The idea for the first one, it's a task that um, um, we had a chance to deal with list of objects. Um, I teach on the studio, my companies, and um, I uh, had a channel in YouTube. Sometimes I teach uh, in LinkedIn. And I noticed that um, even something very basic, I found uh, many people who had some difficulties problems to understand how to process list of objects you no know? um, um they, they share the experience with you you know and for make your life a little bit more easy when you face this kind of thing in a project so let's go to the challenge that is my important information as you can see here we have a list of products okay each product have um unit price of course quantity and two parameters of discount value of discount and type of discount discount can be uh, in percent or in usd as you can see here no, so we need to calculate discount um, on point. Uh, the discount given it's uh, available for each item from this quantity. Okay, if I have uh, ten items here, quantity of ten, discount will be given for each item from this product. Okay. Um, we have also discount on category. Uh, from, from, the, from category also can be um, provided in USD or in percent. And uh, um, as for the discount, um, discount it's provided for each item too. So, Discount here, it's a 10%, it'll be 10% from each item. Um, calculate on the product. If it is counted to be $10, 10, 10 USD, it will be 10 USD for each item from that unit here. Okay. We had have also discount from customer client discount so the client discounts are provided for um, all products but which discount should you should you use you should calculate and use the higher one I can give you an example here I give um, how can I say 500 so 1000 US USD so maybe with negative price, but let's focus focus here on more price. 
it's uh, 3,000 as I have um, 1,000 discount. Final price, 2,000. If I multiply the quantity for two, as you can see here, item price, 4,000. But if it consider that discount for um, each item from this quantity. Okay. And now I will say that uh, electronic now had 50%. As you can see, 50% is higher than, than um, 1,000. So, a new value of discount be 1.5 thousand. Here. Now, I go to discount from product and say, that uh, my discount will be 1.8000 USD. So as you can see, 0.8 is higher. Price with discount is 1.2. So the price is 1.2 multiplied by 2. Okay. That is the first part of the challenge. As you can see on my output, here, the second part of the challenge. So I want to organize um, output distinct by um, category. As you can see, I have um, category electronic. Here must be an array product even if you have just one item should be an array as you can see here okay so also a category for computer products this field doesn't make so much sense to be here you can leave it out okay as beauty this field category beauty and products again even just one and array. Also utilities. Okay. Now I imagine that you can ask um, oh how you can solve the task. Well, as I told you at the beginning, challenge. So it's up to you how to solve. I just wish you to have some fun and have a um, nice way to learn, okay? So, see you.